how can you develop more racket drop on your back end? So going from flat and flat coming forward to more of a higher racket head above your wrists, that allows you to let the racket drop and you're adding extra space in which the racket can gain speed. If you're just taking the racket back here and you're coming forward, it's all you. All right, here it's a lot rounder and you can drive into the ball a lot easier. So let's see how we're doing this. So, all right, take your racket back. Okay, so you see immediately Mo knows how to do this. She's done this, she's got a great backhand. But if you are a player who takes the racket back very flat, the first thing that I want you to work on is actually dipping your hands down here so that your racket head is below the wrist and the racket face points down a little bit. So all you're gonna do is start already turned, yep, already turned with the racket head below the wrist and you feel that tilt a little bit and the racket face points down and you're just nice and easy going down the line, just swinging up to contact point and try to really brush. There you go. Dip it lower. There we go. Yep. Good. All right, next progression is, because that is the position that you want to get into from this position. And this is something, if I wake up Mo at three o'clock in the morning, I say backhand, boom, this is what she's going to do. So you're starting from this top position and you're letting the racket drop and drive, and you really want to feel this. So just let gravity take over. You don't have to do anything other than already getting your unit turn in and dropping. Perfect. All right, ready? Good. Here we go. All right, high setup, drop and roll it. And exaggerate the topspin. There we go, high net clearance, because that is what you want, All right? You get more pace on the ball because you have a longer ways that the racket can accelerate, but what I find more important is that you get higher net clearance and immediately more depth and more action off the bounce. Okay, start from your ready position and just shadow swing it about five times. There we go. And of course, Mo has a great backhand. I said that before. So that's basically her regular backhand. But if you're new to this, shadow swings are great. And do this, set the camera up right there, tape yourself and look at what you're doing. Because a lot of times there's a disconnect between what we feel, what we think we're doing and what we actually do. Okay, now we're putting it all together. So high take back. Yep. And if you feel in the beginning like a clown, like you're completely overdoing it, are you wor you're working on it, like very, yeah. So she's working on, do you feel weird? Exaggerating it, but yeah. She feels yeah, so it feels exaggerated, but it looks perfect to me. And we're gonna see that obviously on tape. So up high and drop, drop, drop. Yes, good. One more. Nice. Good. So that's your progression to develop more racket head drop on the back end. 